Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Christopher. Happy birthday to me. Good morning. This morning I'm up in the hills above Skelwith Bridge and I'm here to shoot that view of the Langdale Pikes. We've been on holiday this week. We've had a bit of a staycation. Normally this time of year we'd go abroad somewhere, try and get a bit of sun, but this year we decided to stay at home and, and explore the Lake District a bit more. So last Saturday we came to Skelwith Bridge. Um, and we had a walk around Lufferick Tarn, which is just down there. And we explored Little Lufferick, which is behind me. And we came across this view of the Langdale Pikes. And so I've come back today to shoot that. Now, when I was here uh, last weekend, I tried to take a picture of the Pikes using my Canon M10, which is what I'm recording this on. Now that's got a lens on it that's got a 35mm equivalent of about 70mm. And that wasn't enough to pull the pikes close enough to me. And I find that a lot. So I predominantly shoot with a 24 to 70 mil uh, Canon EF lens. And I find that a lot of the time that, that I cannot fill the frame with subjects that are in the distance. And so I finally decided to bite the bullet and to get a telephoto lens. Now the lens that I've gone for is the Canon EF 70-200mm f4. It's the non-IS version because it will spend most of its time set up on the tripod. And I've got that now focused on the Langdale Pikes in the distance and I'm at about 135mm. And on the front of the lens, I've got a Lee three-stop hard edge grad. Because at this focal length, that has the effect of softening the graduation in the filter. So that's giving me more of a medium to soft graduation. And now the sun is just rising behind me and I'm just waiting to get some light on the peaks in the distance. Now, although this lens is new to me, it isn't necessarily a new lens. I bought it second hand and I bought it from a camera shop. I didn't scour eBay or the internet for the best deal. I bought it from a camera retailer called Wilkinson's who have shops predominantly in the north of England. And I bought it from them for one main reason. And that's because Helen and I have a saying that if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. And what we mean by that is if we don't use shops like this, they will eventually disappear. Now, when I buy you know, something that is expensive, I like to go and you know, get my hands on it and talk to the guys about it. And Wilkinson's themselves, they keep their prices pretty much in line with Wex Photographic, the online retailer. Um, so it didn't really cost me any money. And the guys in the shop are pretty knowledgeable about these sorts of things, about photography. They've actually got um, some images that um, displayed in the shop they took themselves, and there's some real crackers. Um, so it's good to go in there uh, and, and chat to the guys, and, you know, and, and, and learn a bit about gear. As I've said many times before, I'm not really a gear guy. I don't really spend a lot of time reading about it. The reason I bought this lens is pretty much because it came recommended by Thomas Heaton. So we're just starting to get some light on the fells now. I've got this band of light that's falling across the lower slopes. Now I took a, a, a shot a minute ago, but unfortunately it just looks like I've pulled my grad down too far. I 
I just don't think I'm going to get the kind of light that I'm after this morning, but this is definitely a location that I'm going to come back to. I think I'm going to come back when it's a clear morning, so I get those first rays of light just kissing the top of the mountains. So I'm going to pack up my gear now, and I'm going to head down to Loughrig Tarn and see what I can find down there. So I spoke too soon again. I've got some lovely light on the top of the mountains now. It's not that lovely golden light you get first thing in the morning, but the sun's still quite low, so it's okay. Uh, I've also got the village of, I think, Chapel Style, um, and that's got sun on it as well. And that's making a really nice composition. I am at one 125th of a second, FA ISO 100, two second timer, remote shutter lead release, about 150 mil this time. Here we go. I think one of the things you need as a landscape photographer is patience. And this is a brilliant example of that. Now I've been working this composition for over two hours now, but I could have quite easily have packed up my gear and moved on. Now if I'd have done that, I'd have missed the shot that I came for. Now the shot that I've got is by no means perfect. It kind of lacks that golden light that I was after, but it is much better than anything I'd managed to capture before. Read my eyes, do I want to stay? If you thought you weren't made that way It's the choices we make We give and take And I know you will keep trying Said I think I know what you mean Pretty good for a dumb So I've arrived at Loughrigg Town and I'll be honest, this isn't a place I know very well and when I have visited before I've struggled to find a composition. It's also not the right time of day really, the sun's quite high now. But I'm going to have a little look see, and see what I can find. And actually, this tree, this tree doesn't look too bad does it? Without emotions made of steel what was I supposed to feel? I didn't want to take chances. Past romances were telling me I just crashed. So I couldn't really find a shot over there. Um, I did take a selfie of me by that tree, but the light was coming from the wrong direction. Um, and I wanted to take it from the other side, but it would have meant I would, would have been um, backlit. So maybe that's a shot to come back for for another time. Uh, so until then, I've moved around, moved around the lake, and I'm now uh, shooting across Loughrigg Tarn towards the Langdale Pikes. Uh, and I've got these lily pads here in the foreground. Now I've got uh, all my filters on, pretty much. So the first thing that we've got on is a three-stop soft-edged ND grad to pull down the sky. I've got a fab fabulous sky still. Um, I've then got the polarizer on to cut out the glare off the surface of the water and then finally I've got my big stopper on to bring my exposure down. So I'm at f16 to make sure that everything is sharp back to front 
Um, that's giving me a shutter speed of about one minute. Show me how it can be true. How can I make it up to you and your endless forgiveness, sparkling kisses? Now I think I know. Right, final shot of the day. We're right back to where we started. I'm taking a picture of the Langdale Pikes. This is just a reference picture really, to see what it looks like from this angle. Um, telephoto lens is back on and I've got three stop hard edge grams. So that's about it for me for this week. I've really enjoyed my time shooting with my new telephoto lens. I think it's got a real new dynamic to my photography. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. And until then, it's bye from me. You shine, I let my circus blind me sail